morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas 2020 i believe it's been about five years since i last did a vlogmas video because the last four years we've pretty much spent much of december in the states so obviously thanks to covid we are home this year although we had planned a trip to america a bit earlier but anyway you see we're home so we're doing vlogmas so i bought out the old um, Minnie Mouse hat, Christmas hat. <laughs> if you saw that vlog with the last vlog was five years ago, you'll recognize this. It probably hasn't been worn since then. Today, <laughs> for the start of vlogmas, I'm not feeling fantastic, so who knows how the day will go. I'm sure it will be okay. I had a great day yesterday. Um, for any of you who are new around here, I do have fibromyalgia, so some days are better than others. Yesterday was a really, really good day. I did rest up well in between doing things, but I got a whole lot accomplished yesterday. I got a lot, I had a big long list and I got a lot of it ticked off. And I even swept outside when Kevin came home and he was cleaning the pool. So I went outside and swept all the stuff because we had heaps of wind and heaps of leaves and pine nettles over the weekend. I went, I, the pine, nearest pine tree is quite a bit away, but it was crazy windy. So cleaned all that up and yeah, got organized for vlogmas i hope you enjoyed my little intro to the vlogmas because you'll be seeing it a bit obviously kevin's just ducked outside to see how the bees are going because we had a heat wave over the weekend of over 40 degrees both saturday and sunday and the bees we've got little native bees showing native bees which are teeny tiny they weren't doing too good on the weekend but he went out to check on them and see how they're going and when he comes back in he's got his advent calendar to be open because it's a pocket one and, um, and he put the stuff to go in it so he knows exactly what he's getting but he wanted to do an advent this year he's never done one i don't think before again we're off and away in december so but he wanted to do it he's embracing his childhood and <laughs> having his first ever advent calendar i have my tea advent so we'll be sharing that sometime today uh the plan which i think i have already announced my channel is to do a q like to answer some of your questions why Myself or myself and Kevin have some of that tea, so we'll be doing that sometime today. And here comes Mr. Withnor now, so he can go and do his advent calendar before he has to head off to work. Okay, well, he's doing something for the motorhome because the motorhome's got to go in to get some work done on today. <laughs> so he's actually taking the motorhome. I'm gonna, I'm not sure I'm gonna go pick him up and bring him back home or he's gonna get an Uber. We haven't quite decided that yet. So, anyway, when he's free, we'll go and do the advent calendar. <laughs> It's nice Kevin him to the dishwasher for me. <laughs> oh, and we packed it. We do have our Christmas plates. I finally got them out yesterday after umming and ahhing about whether I was going to bother to do it. So I'll put that one away. We'll be using Christmas plates. How <laughs> am I going to make my bed? Mr. Kinai, let's make it around you. So I my music off. I was debating in the aircon on it's actually quite a nice breeze but like i'm just I've just had a shower and i'm already dripping because i think the humidity is sort of high but <sighs> see i'll try and persevere a bit longer without the air conditioning on but it's going pretty hot so i don't know and i do want to clean i have already done my shower screen did that while i was in the shower the inside of it and yeah the, today's job is the bathroom i have already vacuumed the floor did that yesterday well, I had the vacuum here because I did the bedroom yesterday. So, and I did the front, the foyer and the stairs. I vacuumed all downstairs as well. So, I just need to come and finish up the bathroom. I did the toilet and the vanity. And maybe the mirrors, they probably need done. So, that'll probably be a good job to get done. I'm just going on there. Oh, a snail. <laughs> I'm checking out a snail on the wall. I just went around and opened all the windows up to try and get a bit of air through. I don't know if on these lounging ones i haven't got i never got like rails to hold the windows so i just use a chair plus that'll help me remind me that that's out of place and later on if we do put the aircon on oh but there's a breeze the breeze is coming through there so that's really good that might be what i needed to keep the place at a good temperature for now so i've opened up every window downstairs pretty much except for the ones where the blinds are down which there's not much sun still there, but I'll just keep the sun off the windows for now. Every other window's open, and hopefully with those ones, it will blow the breeze on through. 
So I'm just getting my breakfast, a uh, toasted sandwich, a cup of tea, and I'll sit and work out what my next step is. Guess what? I'm not feeling great. Have my breakfast and then sort of just was hoping I'd feel better. I do have to get up and go and hang out. The quick cover from the motorhome. I get the sheets earlier. So I did utilize my time editing a video for from Sunday. Because obviously I am really gonna try hard, really, really hard, to upload like today's the first here in Australia. I'll upload hopefully in the morning. That's my goal. Or at least sometime tomorrow. So just be the day behind, which would actually be the first for most of the world. So it'll kind of work out. So we'll just um I'm gonna do my best. Can't promise things because with fibro, you just never know. I certainly didn't expect this morning to have gone the way it did. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be a better afternoon. But I'm feeling worse, not better. So, I'm not going quite in the right direction at the moment. But I'm going to hang out that washing and I might try and make my banana bread. One thing I'm trying at the moment, instead of having, like I've still got a bit of a long list of things to do, but is to try and focus on getting one cleaning job done. I mean, it might be a whole room, like today's bathroom, which I've forgotten about. Anyway, <laughs> cleaning job done, a cooking task, and a decluttering task. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do. It's a bit hit and miss at the moment. It doesn't really always work but I'm trying to like put one of each of those things on my to-do list so today it was to finish the bathroom that's really going to depend how I feel but I did do the shower screen so I did do some work up there the cooking was banana bread and possibly mushroom sauce for tonight but again or for mushroom sauce for tomorrow night so what I do it today I can do it tomorrow that's fine and the decluttering task which is there from yesterday was to finish going through my Christmas decor which I guess Kind of will be a good one to do today since it is the first day of Vlogmas. I've got all my decorations out that I want to use this year. So I want to take a look at everything that's not being used and work out whether it's something that I may want to use again another year or whether it's time to let something go. And then I can see which of the kids would like things and if they don't want the things then we can pass on to donate. And I guess again doing it before Christmas is probably better than doing it after Christmas. So that people want it, they can have it and use it this Christmas. So we'll try extra hard to do that after lunch. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love there's always a way and oh this time of year we come Yes, I am on my way.
face every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday So Christy's happy now. Why Christy? Just finished my last exam. Yep, finished her first year at university. It's weird looking at the camera and not you. No. You're probably used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, we've got to look at all our friends that are in there. My friends. <laughs> so now Christy has what, three months off? Yep, 13 weeks, so yeah. just over three months. So it wasn't for a lovely worldwide pandemic. We're <laughs> putting her out to pasture. No, did we get sending her out to get a job? Or do some volunteer work, but I was gonna do another uni course because that was the other option. Yeah, I could do like a summer course. Something you know, to keep her out of trouble and out of my hair for the next three months. My God, that's a long time. Yeah. I know you did it last year, but I had more than that. Of no, I mean, there wasn't a pandemic last year. I didn't have that long anyway because oh no, we are for about that long. We yeah. went to America, so it wouldn't be about that long. But this year. With the pandemic, but though Australia seems to be pretty much back to normal. But no, Christy is about a quarter of the way through her uni degree and has hardly been to uni. Oh, I can't wait to an old <laughs> Did most of it in her pyjamas. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, looks like uni's going back for at least part of the. Yeah, they're going to try and do as much as possible yeah. back on campus next year. So that'll be good. That'll be something exciting to look forward to. I persevered as long as I could. But it's now time. <laughs> To go around, close up the house again, and put the aircon on. Because it's getting hotter, and I'm already rather uncomfortable, and I won't have any hope of doing. Okay, like if you get that breeze, it's not so bad, but you know, I'm not getting the breeze in the part of the house, so we will close up. Oh, so it's nice in here. The lounge, oh my gosh, it's lovely in here. Someone else has already got their aircon on. I don't know if you can get that breeze, it's lovely. Doesn't the house look funny with the motorhome gone? Looks so weird. Ah, my headache has not gone away, but I just received confirmation that our river cruise in France has been successfully postponed by a year. We're supposed to be going in May next year for our 50th birthdays for Kevin and myself, but with so much up in the air and vaccines probably not available till around about then we decided we would postpone it for a year because you know obviously it's a super expensive holiday you know and once in a lifetime to turn 50 so we don't want to have go and it still be problems with the pandemic or having to wear face masks half the time and things like that so obviously we want it to be the best circumstances to travel in and really enjoy that trip the cruise, the river cruise was for two weeks and then we're going to probably extend it by about another two weeks. Seeing some Paris, Euro Disney, no, it's not Euro Disney anymore, it's Disneyland Paris. And um, maybe Corsica, because it's somewhere I've always wanted to visit. So, um, or some of the French Riviera or something like that. So, or maybe even over to England. We haven't quite decided yet what we'll do with our other two weeks yet. Or whether we even make it longer. Who knows? Um, obviously we don't have to worry about it for quite some time now. But it's kind of good to be done and they just um, transferred our deposit from over to our new booking. So that's that's great. That's all confirmed. There's no issues with that. Uh, so that's good. I mean, it's not good that we've had to postpone it, but it's good that it's settled. We hadn't done any other booking because obviously we booked this in January this year. And then obviously <laughs> the pandemic happened and the world went bonkers. But... So obviously we didn't do any other planning and then we'll just see um, if and when things change if there's an option for us to have even a smaller trip this year for our 50th birthday or whether we just do nothing this year and then next year's the trip don't know what we're going to disney yet either whether we i think the end of this year disney is going to be really really busy because it's the 50th celebrations for 
um, Walt Disney World in November, which is kind of would be looking at going November, December. And then obviously people, and I think a lot of people booked for that time, thinking that things will be back to normal, <laughs> normal whatever that is and then. So we'll have to see about that one. So I might put that off even another year. Just playing a bit of fetch with Coda. I'm sitting on the floor here. He's still stuck. We're all good at giving the ball still. He goes through phases. You to give? Oh, good. no, no. You've got to give. Coda. Give. He likes the tug of war, so. You're going to give it this No, you've got to give it. it can be a bit frustrating playing with him. Good boy. Whoa! <laughs> if only I could throw a good ball. <laughs> Good boy, you gonna give it? You gonna give? You gotta give. He doesn't like to give the bubble. Give? But he loves it to be thrown for him. You gonna give I'm not fighting you for it. Come on, you gotta give it. Good boy. <laughs> that at least a bit of potato from my lunch. <laughs> I wonder where it went to. Oh, good catch. <laughs> Can you just go, boy? <laughs> like a ping pong ball machine under the table. Good boy. You going to give it? You going to give? This one's legs, oh my goodness, Chewy. You are so long. Look, I just swept here last night because of course it's windy again. Oh my gosh, it's cooler out here. Oh, that's so nice. Oh gosh, it's way cooler out here than it is inside. That's crazy. And the air conditioning's on. I'm thinking of just hopping in for a dip. Because half the time I wait for Kevin, and then when Kevin comes home, he doesn't feel like going in anymore, or the weather's changed, and I think it is supposed to rain later on. I feel so much better this afternoon than I did this morning, so I think I'll take advantage and get out in the pool, because that's what I'm really trying hard to use the pool on the days where everything falls into line, where I feel good, and the weather's good, try and use it, because they don't always align. <laughs> so, <laughs> take advantage, and I'll go bring in my sheets first. Done everything else. I've washed up. I did the dog's dinner. I've done my medication. Dinner's going to be taco salad, so that's pretty easy because I made the salad yesterday. I did a prep to salad, so just got to add the things to it. So it's a nice, simple, easy dinner. And I think I'll turn the air conditioning off and open up the house because that, that breeze is nice. I said it's pretty warm in there. So I'll do that. Oh, I've got to pick up after the dogs first. So I'll do that. Do my jobs. Finish up my jobs, and then I'm done for the day. Look who I got in the pool. You meet the Chewy. Don't drink the water. He actually came out with me a little bit. Didn't you Chew? I can't do it film, I don't think. Don't you drink all the water. So nice. He came willingly. Bit of encouragement. What a good boy. And Coda did not know what to make of that. But it's nice and cool, isn't it, Chew? What a good boy. Lovely in, isn't it? Don't be drinking all the water. I'll put the camera down. I'll catch him next time, I guess. But he's... Don't drink in the water. Stop drinking it. Too salty. For puppies to drink. Little coda. The problem with using the phone is I often think I'm recording and I am not. Chewy, chewy. And the best he's done to him by himself. <laughs> Chewy. Chewy. Oh. <laughs> noisy, aren't you? Oh, Coda Bear.
adventure in the end. Um, after my nice swim, I'd just lay out for a little bit and then I was going to, I was going to sit out there. Yeah, someone did steal my nectarine. <laughs> to I said, I think someone stole it. I remember seeing it there. I'm guessing that was Keen Eye. I'm going to get another one. They're really nice. Then I thought I've got to give Rosie a brush. So, because they're losing their undercoat at the moment. So I came in. That's when I got nectarine because they're, they're right there. I could smell them when I um, went to get the brush out. And I put, I took a bite, very nice, put it down, I thought I'll finish it afterwards. And just as I was finishing, Rosie, Kevin got back with the motorhome and he had to race back to um, like a 15 minute drive away to pick up his car or else his car was going to be locked in the compound overnight and you have to go back in the morning to pick it up. So I sort of race out the door, <laughs> Kevin came with us, uh, got there and I was fine. A guy had actually rung to, just to double check Kevin was on his way and he waited like an extra 10 minutes or so. For it must have been pretty close to five because it's just 20, 17 past now. So it must have been just the back of five when we got there. I didn't really look. But Coda freaked out when Kevin got out of the car and we drove away. He freaked. I put the window up because I really, actually for the first time I was worried he might jump out the window and chase Kevin. Because he didn't have his seatbelt on that much of a hurry. He didn't even get a chance to get his seatbelt and he was desperate to come. So I haven't finished your dinner yet. But he freaked when Kevin jumped out the car and we drove off without him. So. Anyway, I'm going to move my chairs back that I didn't really get to enjoy. And yeah, the dogs are just having their dinner. Um, oh, Kevin's here now. So I might do our tea and we'll do our Christmas Advent tea. I guess Kevin wants to go for a swim, so I'll see what he wants to do first. He had a bit of a stressful afternoon. <laughs> and then the stress of getting his car back. Get his car, but we did. He got his car, so that's good. Just trying to find somewhere to put the camera. So I've got my tea, my box. I hope it's a good one for the first one. <laughs> Where's number one? Oh my gosh, really? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Down the bottom. Jade Mountain. Hopefully it's going to be enough for two cups. I think it's barely going to be enough for two cups. We'll have a small cup so we can share it. Are you talking to me or no, the, camera? the camera? Hello, camera. I'll stand here and then no one can see me. We don't just say hello, camera. It's our friends. So it says explore Jade Mountain and discover the utopia of cocoa brittle pieces. Brittle pieces? Sounds frightening. And green tea. Maybe we only want the one that says breakfast. <laughs> one sachet per cup. Well, we're only going to get a small cup each. Maybe I need that small cup that I was going to get rid of. <laughs> I can't rescue two of them. Uh, I'm eating all the chocolate bits off this thing. Don't, Kevin. <laughs> I think all the chocolate chips off the... That's rude. <laughs> Did All right. Boil this? Yeah, but I boiled it, and we only need it to 80 degrees. So I've overboiled. I wasn't expecting a green tea. Oh well. I'll um, add some cold water. We're not going to need that big pot. We need a smaller pot. It smells nice, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the amount of tea that you get. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I thought, yeah. You said downgrade the size of jug. I had that one out, and I thought I better get a small one. It smells nice. And then I'll get our small cups. <laughs> a remember last time we had a mixture of teas, we had like a smoky bacon one or something, and it was Smell, horrible. This one smells a lot better than that to start with. This one smells nice. At least with a clear cup, you can see it a bit better, I guess. The clear, um, what's that called? Teapot. Teapot, that's the word. <laughs> Use your words, <laughs> dear. Gosh, I try. I try. Did you see someone commented that you should let let me buy a TV? Yes. I did see that. So it says to brew for two to three minutes. And we'll just ignore Kevin and his TV comment. Might pour our first tea. <laughs> 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 wasn't this your idea? I mean, it wasn't my idea. Whose idea was it to do I this? I got the tea thing for you. You decided you were going to do it every day. Good dog. Well, mind you, to really? do a it's probably someone's. That's what we're like doing, it. is it? We just go in the arms. Oh, we can see. Oh, well, with the little cups, we get a cup out of tea. 
I'm not sure if I want a whole cup. Well, what else am I going to do with it? I don't know. I'm not a tea person. Do you like tea, Mr. Brown Dog? Nice. This is quite nice. I don't know what it smells of. It's got smell. cocoa in it. Chocolate. I don't know what it smells like though. I find it very weird when you can nice. smell something but you can't work out what the smell is. Oh, the outer packaging's got the ingredients. This the big box has <coughs> got the ingredients. <coughs> We're looking for Jane Mountain. I can't cough on camera, people think I've got dog food. So it's green tea, <coughs> roasted rice. Yeah. I still know the brittle pieces <laughs> are coconut and hazelnut, and it's cocoa hubs. Sweet blackberry leaves, roasted chicory root, almond, carob fruit, or carob fruit. Natural and artificial flavourings, because you've got to have them in your tea. Well, I don't know what I can smell. <laughs> Sorry, Chewy. You weren't invited to tea. Since we're having food, because this is where we sit at lunchtime on, on Sunday. The camera doesn't pick up a dog face as a face. Oh. Have you got a dog face? Alright, find a question. Okay, so I've just been collecting your questions. So the first one that was to Kevin and myself was if you were to travel outside of Australia, New Zealand and America, where else in the world would you like to travel? I can get your answer. <laughs> the UK? Scotland? <laughs> you always want to go to Scotland. I always want to go to Scotland, yes. It's been 10 years this year, 10 years since we've been there, it's far too long. But obviously, we weren't going to the UK this year. What would your answer be, Kevin? I don't know, I like cruising when you go to lots of different countries. I you think the question you? went on. Yeah, don't, about... that, don't that's another question. Oh, okay. Um, oh, this, oh, sorry, there is three parts. I can't even read my own. I just copied and pasted it. Okay, well, you haven't answered that. Where else in the world would you like to travel? Um, everywhere. <laughs> Well, no, not everywhere. Depending on what the country does. What's the country that brings all the whales up on the beach and kills them? I don't want to go there. Iceland? Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Iceland is still doing okay. it. And the other little island up off Scotland. I don't want to go to Japan. It's part of Iceland. Because they do the same thing. Even though Japan was later. You need to talk to our friends. I'm talking to you. But no, we're talking You're to over our there. friends. Someone else is over there. Um, I have issues with Japan and their commercial whaling. Well, that's the next but, question. I know. But oh, you got time, ahead. Well, it's the same question. But there it's was a the three same parts. Oh, there was three parts. I haven't asked that. I haven't even told everyone what their second like part of the Zealand. question was. I want to go to Canada. I yeah, go... Canada would be good. I don't know where else. I like Alaska. I like we want, definitely want to do more of Europe because we haven't done much of Europe. and. We were in France for a day. I know. I talked. <laughs> and we've done Germany. But we, we haven't done, done much of Europe. No. So hopefully we'll get to go on our cruise, we'll just put it back a year. I have already informed them of that. Yeah. Okay, so the second part of that question was, would you like to visit Japan? Would you like to visit Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea? I know lots of people that have been to Japan and really like it. Um, I think I'd like to go, but I don't like their whaling, so I, yeah. that's the only real, real reason I don't like them. Everything else about Japan I tend to like. Yeah, so they stopped their whaling. <laughs> But we're trying to, I'm not trying to sound like we're on particularly good moral ground. Australia's not doing well in the international stage at the moment, so I'm not overly proud of being Australian. But, um... No, we have survived coronavirus very well. Yeah, we've done coronavirus <laughs> very well. Um, if our army didn't go and randomly kill people, that'd be nice. But, you know, we can always do better, and I think yeah. everyone can do better. I'd like to go to Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Sea. We've watched a few vlogs from there, it does look pretty cool, particularly Tokyo Sea, Disney Sea, which is very different. But my other thing about Japan is how busy it is. I don't know how I'd cope with the busyness and the noisiness of the place. Well, I've watched a few vlogs on I'd be more interested Tokyo. in like rural Japan. Yeah. But anyway. one day maybe. But yeah, we do. Yeah, a bit funny about the wailing. But then the door think... is noisy. Oh, why did you open it then? Because there was a fuzzy. Oh, did he want to come in? Yes. He didn't walk. No, he didn't. No one's ever get up. Show the bear. Don't go outside, please. <laughs> Everyone's stay inside. Um, 
And the third part of that question, sorry, this is from Julie Donovan. I don't think I even said who the question was from. I do apologize, Julie. Um, have you visited any of the other Disneyland parks apart from America? No. No. But when we go to France, we are planning to go to Disney Paris. Disneyland Paris? No, I think it's Paris Disney. Disney I keep going to call it Euro Disney, but I know it's not it's that not anymore. It's not Euro Disney anymore. So, yeah. Um... I don't look at the camera. Where are the other ones? The Shanghai. That's China, isn't it? Yeah. So. China's the same as Japan. They've got good things and bad things. We mm. probably should go to both. I don't China. Know. Well, they, <laughs> they've got good <laughs> things and bad things. I think every country's got good things and bad things. I know. Yes. So that's, anyway, that was Julie's question. So that's all we'll do to do today. I'll let you guys go. We'll finish our tea. And then we are going to have do our... Do we do one question a day? I think so. We haven't got that many questions. <laughs> we <don't have> <laughs> We've got 24 weeks. Have you got any more questions? 24 days. 24 days, yes. Oh, gosh. If you have any more questions, free, feel free to ask away. There's, um... Not maths questions. I'm not, I'm not really There's about math. a half a dozen for you and I, and there was some for just myself, so... Yes, more questions are welcome. And so after we have this tea, we're going to have our food tea. Oh, dinner. <laughs> You know, tea. British call it tea. We used to call it tea what when I was a kid. What do you call it? You used to call it dinner? Dinner. Oh, no. Yeah. I think it's just because I was saying tea, so I went, went to tea. When I was a kid, we used to be home. Used to have, had to be home in time for tea. Mm. Yeah, I do think we used to say dinner know. more. I don't know when it changed. Both. Kind I don't think Americans call it work. tea. No. Anyway. <laughs> we're going to have, that, have a taco salad, and we're going to probably watch more of the good girls. We're on season two now. Yeah, we had had a cliffhanger, and so we kept on watching last night. We actually stayed up past our usual bedtime of 8.30. Um, and Chrissy comes in and goes, you still awake? I said, yeah, because the show had a cliffhanger, so we kept watching. And it wasn't until afterwards we finished what we realised what the cliffhanger was, the end of season one. So, so we're on we season go. two now. We've watched two episodes already, so good show. All right, see you guys tomorrow night.